Right, what's up? Hello and welcome everyone to a day two of the 1.5 farm. All right, where we try to manage uh, without sprinklers. Okay, so I'm assuming that uh, crafting, or not crafting, but uh, mining is going to be quite important on this map. Um, because first of all, right, we're going to have this little area that we can clean up where we, I think we can sprinkle, um, slash use sprinklers, right? So I think we definitely want that one. And then the other one, um, is that, you know, I think <clears throat> our best way of getting money is going to be exactly that. Okay. So we want to... We want to have a 50 gold, a uh, 50 gold, 50, uh, 50 wood here, so that we can craft ourselves. All right, perfect. All right, so that we can craft ourselves a chest. Then I'm going to hurry over, hurry over to Willy and try to uh, start fishing and uh, do my fishing as fast as I can. Try to get a, try to get a fishing rod. Um, so we're going to buy, and this is an absolute, absolutely great strategy. Um, we're going to buy the training fishing rod. Now you might be, might be asking, why do I want to buy the training fishing rod? Isn't the fishing rod you get good enough? Well, yes, um, the training fishing rod doesn't sound so good until you realize that XP is increased twofold if you can get a perfect fish. And a perfect fish, like this one, um, gives you gives you that's that so much more XP that you can level up fishing super fast. And uh you know, the faster you level up, the faster you get to level 5. And uh, that's why you want the training fishing rod. So we're going to fish until Willy opens, which is, uh, you know, just a couple of fish from this point on. Um, and then we want to fish until we are level 2. Now, if I could get... So here's the thing, right? If I can get perfect fish, which I was... I'm, I'm trying to do, right? I'm definitely trying to go for the perfect fish, and it's just, you know, it's just not, not very, not very easy in the beginning. And uh, you'll see the great perk about the training fishing rod. The whole deal of the fishing rod is this: you get a way bigger, you get a way bigger um, fishing bar, which is great. So just to show you real quick. Um, we're fishing level zero right now, which is weird because we we got three fish, right? And one of them was perfect, so... Okay, whatever. Um, we need to level up two times. So, this is quite bad, right? This, this little blunder where the fish slipped from my fishing, fishing rod is quite unfortunate. Um... You also don't don't have to go for you don't have to max out the fishing the 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 uh, range you throw it out because that only increases the quality of the fish which we don't care about. What we care about right now is to catch a lot of perfect fish real fast. And I I messed it up already. But you see how much easier the fish are to catch, right? In theory, if I if I wasn't, you know, as bad at fishing as I am, it would be quite quite easy to get the fish. Um So yeah, this is I mean it's quite unfortunate. Because we lose money doing this, right? So we really want perfect fish and I haven't managed to get them. So, you know. It's a little tragic. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. 
And remember, getting perfect fish with a normal fishing pole usually increases quality, but with the training fishing pole you can only get base quality fish, so you can't really make a lot of money, but you can make a lot of XP, which is more important, uh, more important to us right now. So if we have a little look, we should be leveled up once. And uh, our goal is to manage to level up a second time until 3 o'clock. And also have enough fish to sell. Which is probably not going to work out. But at least we leveled up. So, you know, we, we can do the same thing tomorrow and then we'll grab the fishing pole tomorrow. Uh, which is still good enough. <clears throat> because I don't know how many fish it takes and uh, I, don't, I don't want to waste my time because it definitely is still possible if I catch like a perfect fish now, level up and then catch some high quality fish next time that was really clutch um, to be level 2 and have enough money so that would be great if we could do that Another perfect fish, so that's really good. Alright, we're still level one. Ah, that's so unfortunate, man. We're still not there. I'm assuming we're still not there because seaweed doesn't really give a lot of XP. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm really hoping that this one is the one that is leveling us up. Nope. We'll keep going. There is an exploit you could use where you click on that little exclamation mark. And time stops for the time you're fishing, so that's, you know, it's a little broken though. So you don't really want to use that, but it is a possibility. Okay, I'm not going for the... I should have went for the treasure chest. I didn't want to go for it, because I wanted the XP, but I should have went for it. Um, later on, we'll always go for treasure chests, it's just, you know, always, but right now... Okay, this would probably take me too long to run there and then run back, so... I'm not going to go for these bubbles. Usually you want to go for bubbles. Nice. Still not leveled up though. Quite slow. Oh! Oh, that's so unfortunate. Nice, we leveled up. So you can make it until 4 p.m. Um, you can fish until 4 p.m. So you want to do that. And right now, of course, the, we, we still want perfect fish, right? But we want to... We want to... Catch... We want to catch all the fish, so we want to throw it out as far as we can. Um, and uh, obviously, higher quality, the better. 
So it's 320. I hope that we can get two or three fish here, but it's probably going to be two fish, if any, to, to be perfectly honest. Okay, so perfect fish are big because they give us gold quality fish. Okay, let's see it's the time. It's unfortunate. But we kind of missed it. We kind of missed um, just by a little bit. So we could have pulled out the uh, normal fishing rod a little bit faster. And uh, could have managed to, but, you know, we didn't, we didn't quite make it. That's no problem, though. Um, that means we're going to get the money tomorrow, though. Which is, uh, you know, it's still fine. It could have been better. Um, but... We'll be fine. Uh, we can also, we can also fish on our farm. Um, but tomorrow we want to spend as much of the day as we can fishing at the river. So that's why I would have loved to... Um, but why I would have loved to be able to, you know, afford the fishing rod right now. We barely didn't make it. It's unfortunate. One or two more perfect fish. Um, so gold quality fish with a normal fishing rod. Or just one or two more fish in general. And we would have been perfectly fine. But unfortunately, we didn't make it. So, you know, sad, but what do you do? Um, the fishing rod would, the fishing rod would have not, not been too big of a deal anyway, considering that, um, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have enough money to buy bait, so bait is quite important in this one. Still, I would have liked. To not have to run to Willy tomorrow because obviously you know fishing fishing we want to fish as fast as possible and as much as possible as well <laughs> we also don't need the training rod anymore um, we, we literally just bought it so we could level up and could have a sh shot at buying the fiberglass rod. Because we would never get enough XP with perfect fish without the training rod because it's too hard. It's way too hard. So yeah. Um, on anything else, right? The plan for tomorrow, obviously, tomorrow it's raining so we don't have to water our crops. And uh, ba basically what we're trying to do is we we're trying to fish at the river and get catfish um, which can be quite hard to catch in the beginning but getting one or two already makes it worth um, fishing here instead of the river uh, uh, ins instead of the mountain lake fishing in the river instead of the mountain lake oh nice okay so now we are going to eat the herring you can always do this. This is always worth it. Um, it's always worth it to to eat your lowest quality fish, right? Because obviously you're going to catch something of this or higher quality, probably higher quality, since uh, you know night fishing is more valuable. And then also, you know, if you're higher level than you were before. Um, and you also get the XP, right? So you want to, you definitely want to, you definitely want to eat the less valuable fish. Um, I also think you want to keep a few fish. So I think, for example, the chubs, you can kind of keep them around instead of selling them because they're not worth a lot of money. Um, if you are planning to do like a super big crop um, early on, I'm planning to do like... I don't know, a hundred strawberries at most. Um, so we're going to see how that works out for me. Okay. 
one more cast. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm checking mm -hmm. which one of these fish we can eat. Damn, I missed. Mm -hmm. We can throw this out again. Eighteen, twenty-three, eighteen, eight, eighteen, eight. Okay, so these herrings and the sardines are kind of the same. Um, so I'm probably going to eat one of them. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, this would have been a perfect fish. Okay. Well, guess it's a sardine then. I'm trying to eat though in a, in a way that keeps also keeps my inventory um, light, so you know, I can potentially have like a treasure chest with something else in there. We obviously don't want to pass out, but we can stay up until 2 a.m. instead of 1 a.m. because we are going to we're going to level up today twice actually, maybe even three times, but probably twice. Um, so we can, we can overexert ourselves, we can, we can do all of that because we, because we don't, uh, we don't get any penalty on days that we level up and we're going to level up because we already leveled up, right? So we can, uh, you can use that quite, use, uh, quite, quite well in the beginning. Okay. That's good quite valuable. It's 9.30, so we, we can still eat. I think it would be more effective of me to use up the last five energy, but that's a little, you know, it's a little exploity. And, you know, exploiting, exploiting a game is always fun once, and then the game is kind of ruined. Or at least for me, with Stardew Valley, I had to take a break, because the game just feels so boring then. Because, I mean, you know, that's the reason why the things cost the stuff that they cost. Now, there are a few, there are a few exceptions, right? There are games like Fallout um, 76 or Fallout in general, where uh, the game's maybe a little bit too grindy, you know. But games that are made by good, de good developers usually have pretty good balancing. And uh, there's usually a reason um, and a well, well thought out reason at that why the things cost what they cost and uh, you know why you're limited to the amount that you're limited to. Oh that obviously doesn't really count for the faster games because of all the artificial grind. And also for a lot of other games. Mm -hmm. For Stardew Valley, this definitely is the case. Exploits make it a little boring. Because, I mean, the game is very generous anyway, right? It's not it's not hard to get rolling and to do well in this game. Okay, so I'm going to use an anchovy here. This is definitely cutting in my pro into my profits, but, you know, if I get another hair, but I already made more, as well as I'm leveling up, so, you know, whatevs. Mm -hmm. Um, if I had if I had gotten the fiberglass rod with bait, I would have made way more money already. This this is like 100%. There is no there's no doubt about that. That is just that's just the way it works, right? Because it snowballs so insanely. Because you get double the bite bite rate, I think. Um, and you, know, you just you just uh, get way more fish. You level up way quicker, which in turn makes you get level 5 quicker which then makes more money and you know I don't I don't have to explain um, all right how far are we away from our home quite far so I'm gonna pack up after this because uh, 13 energy is kind of weird because I only get one more fish out of it because I'm perfectly at zero if it, if it was 15 if I had five, um, I would go for another one. If I had like some energy left, that is. Okay. So. 
they also do have some space left. So let me pick this stuff up. Carry it on. 12.30. Alright. <clears throat> Got us enough time to uh, sell all the stuff. Which, I mean, we, we don't really need to, but... Um, we can. We can, we can. 1 a.m. So this is the point where we'll get the pen penalty, but as I said, right? We don't really care about that penalty. We could, in theory, throw away the bamboo pole as well, but... So... All of them. Keep the seaweed, keep the clam. Pull this bad boy out. Um, the bamboo pole, do we... We might still need that one, actually. Okay, we'll find with this. Alright, let's go to sleep. Alright, so tomorrow, uh, we actually don't need the watering can. I just realized. Right, level 1 fishing. Level 2 fishing. Level 3 fishing. That's pretty good. The fact that we made it to level 3 fishing is actually really good. Nice, we have more than enough money. And uh, thus we continue into day 2. Dum, dum, dum. All right, it's raining. It's raining. All right, <clears throat> stop. All right, so why am I not fishing in the ocean? Because catfish are worth a lot of money. So I'm going to fish. I'm going to fish over here. Uh, for a bit. Because Willy isn't going to open yet. So. I'm gonna fish for now. <clears throat> okay, so how are we, how are we supposed, or how, how should we? Let's, let's put it like that. How should we figure out what to do here? Because I want to unlock the new areas as fast as possible. So, what I'm thinking right now, guys, is that we try to is that we try to uh, make as much money as possible in the beginning, right? That's usually the start, um, and try to get uh, try to get our stuff upgraded and just get to the point where we have um, a lot of artifacts and you know a lot of a lot of crafting crafting materials and can upgrade all of our tools and stuff because. I feel like upgrading stuff is going to be quite important because a good watering can is quite important whenever we don't have the uh, the automatic sprinklers. So artifacts, they're actually not that important, right? Um, we only need a couple of them for the greenhouse. I mean, they're still as important because of the greenhouse, right? But they're not as important, I would say. Okay, so it's eight. I think I'm going to go to Willy now, because uh, yeah, as soon as possible. All right. So we we made a little bit too much money, which is unfortunate. I should have I should have not sold all the fish. I should have sold some of the fish. Um, just because I want to want to go broke and pass out today, so we're probably going to catch. Uh, we're go probably going to buy quite a bit of soup, fish soup, uh, which it, it gives us plus one fishing anyway. So we really want that. Actually, no fish. Okay. okay. Fiberglass rod. Um, I think I'll get two trout soups and then spend the rest on bait. Okay. So let's. Okay. Let's go through this. Okay, that's perfect. And let's rush. Rush over to the river. 
So usually right at this point I would already be fishing and may maybe would have caught a uh, catfish. So just to understand, right? We already lost kind of 200-ish uh, money, just potentially. And, uh, you know, we, we lose the chance to be level 5, but that, you know, it's 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 very, you know, it's very clutch. The, the timing is very clutch on hitting level 5 in this one. So you need to luck out in multiple ways here. So I think there are multiple options for placing your chest. I don't know if, it, like, here is a good option. I've always placed the chest there. Um, I know that you can't just place it here, because NPCs walk through here at least a little bit. Right, Leah does, obviously. Alright, perfect fish are obviously insane for me. <laughs> Although this is basic quality, which is unfortunate. But perfect fish are insane for leveling, right? And the faster we get level 5, the faster we make more money. And uh, I'm not going to sell anything. Um, until I am level 5, so, you know, it might take one or two days. Oh, that is a catfish. So I'm trying to pre-place uh, the, the fishing bar in the direction the fish is going to jump next. So what they usually do is they jump up high, and then they jump to the middle, and then they jump up high again. And sometimes they do it real fast. So like this one, right? So this one you can't catch. If they do it real fast, you can't catch them, but if they do it as slow as the other one, you can catch them at this point. So this is good. We already got a catfish, which is pretty big. Um, and that was a pretty slow one as well. Uh, pretty slow catfish. Okay. I don't really like him struggling as much. What? I wanted to look at the clock. See the clock? I think the clock's actually paused. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the clock is actually paused while you're fishing, which is so broken. Because you don't have that in color, which is interesting. good sequence there but I feel like I'm going to drop this one this one's a little bit too hard yeah oh okay yeah, this one's yeah so this is weird right but they're easier and harder catfish and it doesn't matter the quality I know it's weird I don't understand it myself but some catfish are really hard and some catfish are way easier and uh, you can tell from the beginning. It's not like they, it's random, like... Um, it's not like their next move is chosen randomly, but their move set is chosen randomly, which is weird. Right, so I, I, I would say that they're like just movement patterns, right? And the game chooses, the second you, you catch it, the game chooses, okay, which movement pattern do we take? And then uh, that movement pattern is continuing so like you can tell that some catfish are just harder catfish than others nice this is perfect dude full quality let's go all right i'm going to have to uh Yes. Okay. So... I have a quite a bit of food. So I'm going to uh, drink these. And also drink a trout, drink a trout soup. Okay, now I ha should have enough space and I also have plus one fishing for five minutes and then another plus one fishing for five minutes. So that should be great. Um, I might throw out the coal, but to be honest, I I don't feel comfortable with that because coal is quite useful. Um, 
especially if you are going to play a little bit more mind focus. We want all the coal we can have. God. Also, you, you might have realized, right, that the reason uh, we're taking the truck suit is that that gives us a little bit of a higher uh, fishing skull, which gives us a bigger bar, which just makes it that little bit easier, right? Um, so we have two golden chubs, right? The chubs. If you remember, those were the ones I told you we might not sell at all. Okay, this could have easily been the perfect one. Um, because, you know, they give good energy. Quite good energy and they don't sell for a lot. So if you remember the uh, silver... Um, what was it? Sardines and herrings? They definitely give less energy than this. So... This is, uh, what is it, 35, right? And they, I, th I think they sell for, sell for like a similar amount. So you can already tell, right? It's, it's definitely quite the difference. Now we still have three minutes left. Iridium quality. Okay, now I definitely need to place the chest. So, let me just place it here. And store the basic chat. Oh god. Okay. So why am I storing the basic chat? Um, because I don't have to take that one with me, so if I pass out, um, I could just easily ignore that one. Um, and just sell it way later. Because just in case that I forget, I want to have the most valuable fish on me, right? Because, uh, as I said, right, we're going to pass out. We have enough trout soup to fish until late in the, in the night. And uh, since I'm pretty sure we're going to level up, um, that should be of no consequence for us. And since we don't have any money, passing out is perfectly fine. That was a catfish? That was a golden quality catfish. See, this is already a lot of money. So, I, I, this is the problem, right? I'm ruining quite a few perfect chubs. Uh, just because I am a little bit, you know, I'm predicting a catfish. So, the faster, with a catfish, right? The faster you can shoot your fishing bar up, the higher the chance uh, is that you can, um, break yourself towards that, you know, catching the fish and give yourself some leeway later on once the fish starts going crazy, right? So that's why I'm usually shooting up and uh, then I get lower quality fish, but and that doesn't really, doesn't really uh, matter to me as long as I have the chance to grab. If, if I get one more catfish, it's already worth the loss in money. All right, so we have quite a bit of algae here as well. Um, so, you know, we're not going to run out of energy anytime soon, but I mean, we also have the trout soup and stuff, so, you know, I'm probably not going to use it, actually, uh, because I feel like it's going to be hard to spend all this energy, and I don't want to waste the energy, so I'm going to keep this one for tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be almost the same, just with some more fishing, so, uh, watering crops. So it really doesn't matter. Quite unfortunate right now. Quite unfortunate. Game, can you can you stop giving me LG please? Like game, game. It's it's fine, okay? It's Really, really, I, I don't need 20 pieces of green algae here. I really don't need it. I would much rather prefer 10 catfish. To be perfectly honest. Okay, I need to store something. So which one's less... Hmm... 
Which one? Which one's least probable? I think I think that one's actually least probable. Why you ask me? Well, I guess the silver chubs, right? I make the same mistake with the chubs a lot, so. I make the same mistake with the chubs a lot, so I'm expecting to get more silver chubs than to get a silver ch or like a silver quality chub because chads are like this. This is like a chad kind of movement pattern. It's just straight up. It's very simple to catch. That was another silver quality catfish. unfortunate but you know you can't get them all this one i could have definitely gotten uh so far but fishing is not the easiest thing in this game I like, I like our assortment of fish. Also, since I committed already to not e eating the trout soup, I feel like I shouldn't uh, now because I might not have enough time and I don't want to waste any time of that buff. eight o'clock I mean it's already hmm it's still a little bit of time and if I can get more catfish because of that that would be a way better right so yeah but still no I feel like I feel like I'm not going to use all the energy it gives me it gives me like what 100 energy there's no way I'm using 150 energy no no not at all So I'm I'm already in at, at a dangerous point here. If I get a if I get a iridium quality fish of some sorts, I might have to throw something away. But I have too many algae to throw them away. Yeah, I think I got it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Shouldn't have said that, dude. Fuck, I know. Okay, what do we store? Not the catfish, not the chubs. Man, I don't know. What is my... Yeah, it's level 4. So I did level up already. Um... As I said, right, I don't want to throw away the algae. But I don't want to store them because I might need them. Oh, this is a catfish. And this is a simple one. Big pog. Nice, dude. That's exactly what I needed. And then it's a gold one. What? That was the easiest catfish of my life, dude. Yeah, let's get it. No. See, a silver quality chub. What? That was actually gold quality? Although I failed? Oh, that means I'm level 4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we can actually store the silver quality chubs. We won't get... We won't get them anymore. Fuck. 
14, 27. I'm starting to believe I could have, uh, I could have used the trout soup actually. But yeah, if you look at this, this is easily 5k. So, you know, we, we're, we're easily at 10k, 10k made already. and. It's day two, at uh, day three, so it's pretty good. Okay, let's get it. Perfect. I'm gonna store these. Don't want to sell them anyway, right? Oh. That guy started off easily. One of the easiest, and now... Yeah, we, this is probably one of the hardest ones we've had. I'm not giving up though. I'm gonna give you up. I'm gonna let you down. Let's go. That guy was gold quality as well. Let's go. I mean, I would have loved to have it iridium quality for that one, but you know. Yeah. yeah, I misplayed that one. That guy didn't shoot up as much as I was expecting. Seven. This is not enough. I really would love to be able to level up. But I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Because we're not going to sell the fish now. But this is a level 5 day 4. So yeah, that's pretty good. And that, 
like even though we, we delayed our fishing pole um, by a day. So we can we can at least catch one more fish. Dude, I'm hoping that I can catch this one perfect. Nice. I, I'm hoping I can level up to level five. They said you couldn't do it. Level five fishing. There we go, dude. Level flipping five on day three. Level five on day three. They said you couldn't do it. You can. Scientists hate him. Alright, perfect. And thus we can pass out in peace, knowing that we achieved level 5. Level 4. And level 5. Fish are worth 25% more. Let's get it, boys. Alright, so with this day, I'm going to end today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. It's been quite a long one, 46 minutes of that. So, uh, yeah, thanks, thank you very much, right? I'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, we're going to sell all of that great fish, right? And we are going to make quite a bit of money. So thanks. I'll see you guys later. Bye!